Hello, my name is Moshe Gordon, and in this video I will provide a short overview of use cases for cloud computing tools in education, based on a 2012 study by Assistant Professor David W. Denton from Seattle Pacific University. This study assessed educational activities that combined constructivist and cooperative learning methods with online cloud computing tools. It provides an extensive summary of these tools, as well as a set of 10 suggested educational activities for which they can be used. These activities are also detailed in this presentation. The tools used in the study are the Google Apps for Education suite, which provide collaborative document presentation, spreadsheet, and diagram editing, as well as email services and form creation and analysis. Constructive teaching methodology suggests students integrate prior knowledge of inf uh, without unfamiliar information to create new learning. This can be supported by creating documents using cloud technology that embody the collective knowledge of the lesson, project, or the course as a whole. Since these tools are collaborative by nature, they align perfectly with cooperative learning as well. The study itself consisted of a quarter-long uh, course about assessments that uh, undergraduate stud uh, students took in a university. Uh, they were divided into groups of three, and each were tasked to create a website showing example of assessment techniques. A variety of constructivist and cooperative activities based on cloud computing tools we're supporting uh, this, uh, this course, as well as the project itself. By the end of the course, uh, the students uh, indicated in surveys conducted at the end that they favored using these called uh, uh, technology tools, which indicates that uh, the methods suggested in this paper are indeed useful, perhaps in other contexts as well. Uh, I will go over them very briefly, as uh, detailing them uh, can be a whole lecture in itself. And I suggest you uh, use the link I provide in the YouTube uh, commentary, uh, sorry, YouTube description to go over it. And obviously, if it interests you, read the study itself. Um, so first and foremost, goof projects, which are obviously known from outside the cloud computing uh, forum. But uh, using Google Docs, uh, these students were basically uh, building the contents of the sites together, uh, creating different revisions and eventually uh, bringing a collaborative project into the mix. Uh, they were doing peer assessment uh, using Google Forms as well as comments on the docs themselves. Uh, students constructed presentations to uh, present together what they learned over time and share across the class. They also conducted simultaneous class discussions by writing the questions on uh, presentations. Um, they performed collaborative reflection on Google Docs as well. Uh, students assisted each other in writing uh, based on Google Docs comments and uh, revisions. Uh, using Google Drawing, they uh, conducted illustrative learning, meaning they codified their knowledge in uh, diagrams rather than in text. Uh, students also built over time a class inventory that allowed them to get a continuous assessment rather than be based on uh, exams or midterms. Uh, they also built the rubric for their class along with their teacher. And finally, the website publishing itself provides a very good pedagogical experience according to different studies. As a whole, the tools together created a very uh, impressive uh, learning environment, which apparently the students enjoyed and provided a very, very good and useful and rewarding as well as expand knowledge expanding uh, learning environment. And again, I suggest you read into it um, using the presentation itself and if you can, the paper. Uh, finally, I would also like to mention that there are many tools, uh, cloud-based tools that uh, can provide a lot of other uh, collaboration opportunities. Office has their own uh, um, Office suit uh, on the web called Office 365. Uh, the presentation you see here is built on Prezi, which is also a collaborative presentation tool that works in a more flowy way, as you could see. Uh, we video allows for collaborative uh, video editing. Gantor allows uh, collaborative Gantt uh, management for projects. And MindMeisters allows for collaborative uh, MindClouds. Again, I suggest you read into it. I put one link below to start you off, but you can find tons of stuff on the internet. I hope you enjoyed.